This is the iClops. It's a basic uh, digital microscope that allows kids and adults alike to see things in a digital perspective um, by zooming in on subjects. And it's really cool and it's really entertaining and it's really inexpensive as far as microscopes and digital content goes. It's only around $50 and uh, it brings a lot of stuff to the table. You'll be surprised. So the thing about a real laboratory microscopes is that it's pretty hard to use. Now they can zoom up, you know, 100, 200, 400 times, and once you get more and more deeper into the zoom level, you have to adjust a lot of um, small micro stuff, and you have to turn the knobs, and it's sometimes hard to find the subjects if you're looking for cells, if you're looking at something just for fun, and it's not really that fun anymore because it's so hard to actually find stuff. It's more serious, it's more for laboratories, it's more for school purposes. And, um, but the good thing about this, this is called the iClops, it, it's, it's also really detailed. It zooms up to 400 times, and it still makes the pictures really sharp, and it actually does the focusing for you. Um, it's not, you know, it's not like it's automatically the software is going to do everything for you. You still can adjust things if you want to make things more sharp, but usually you can just play around, put the, the, the camera lens on stuff, and you can, it's usually pretty sharp, and it's going to show up fine on screen. So that's pretty cool is that um, not a lot of user experience with microscopes is needed to actually find a good cell, find a good zoomed-in view when you're looking on the screen. Another thing about good about it is that it combines a lot of digital elements of the 21st century, including a full-color TFT display, as you can see here. It's pretty high resolution. It shows um, pictures. It shows video really good. Um, and so it, it's great. This is my finger down here below. You can actually see the finger crevices and the fingerprint and the DNA and just the cells in general. Maybe not, not as small as the cells, but um, this is a 100 times zoom right now. Take a look on the hardware. We've got this of course, backlit TFT display. Again, it's really sharp. It's pretty large. Um, we also have a four-way D-pad. Um, when we press the album button on here, it brings us to the menu system of the of the zoomed in stuff that we've actually saved. How you do that is you basically, want, if you want to see something, you put it under a microscope, you really like it, you can actually press an A button, and you can take a picture, or you can press a B button and take a video clip. You can record an entire mini movie, or you can take a picture, and then you can press the album button, and that brings you to the screen. And you can actually, it says Biocam and Bionicam, and you can actually view the stuff in uh, a large view experience, and, and it's it's pretty cool. This is when, uh, this is of course a more detailed view of when we had more time. It's pretty, you know, some of the things can get more disgusting, but this is actually human skin, and it's it's interesting. You can actually look, and uh, there's cotton, I think. Um, we recorded on some. As you can see, all everything is pretty high resolution. It's, it's surprisingly good for an inexpensive camera. And as you get zoomed in more and more, the resolution doesn't really fade away. So it's pretty cool on that in that sense. We also got a delete button right on this device. Buttons are pretty nice and easy to use. They're rubber coated, so they'll be pretty strong. You might be thinking, well, where does all this content save to? It saves onto a USB, which is included right out of the box. It's not a very large USB. It's only around 64 megabytes, but uh, it's pretty cool because what you do is there's a USB port on here, and you plug in this USB into the port, and that allows you to have memory to save these photos and images and video clips. And then you plug into your computer, and voila, all your content is onto your computer. You can share it with friends and family, and it's a pretty rugged little USB drive. Um, it works fine for this type of stuff. It has a lot of space because um, you're not going to be too much doing too much with this actual device. So it remains fairly small and compact as well. The lens is actually on the, the bottom here, and there's also LED lights that you just saw that were illuminating the subjects. It's pretty bright, and it's pretty easy to use. It looks really cool. It looks like an eye. It's an eye cam. And it, in case you want to focus it a little bit better, there's also a focusing. You can twist this knob to adjust the focus degree. And of course, on the other end, we do have this little battery pack where you put in AA batteries. It's pretty heavy. This is one of the nuisances, in my opinion, because um, this device is the actual model is pretty light. You do need somewhere to store all the battery information. On the bright side, the module here also includes a connection port to your TV, so you can also do video out uh, just using a regular VG. Um, RCA connection, and you'll be able to connect it onto a big screen, and all your images will be blown up, and it'll be gruesome, but it'll be interesting, and it'll be pretty cool. There's also a selection to place uh, the image on screen or onto your TV screen, and there's an on-off switch on the left-hand side, and there's a belt clip on the other. So this is a very interesting toy. Uh, it, it's 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 got a lot of mechanics, it's got a lot of technology of the 21st century, a full color display of memory. You can record things, you can take pictures. Um, let's see if we can just see words. Oh yes, we can. This is just a Nintendo game. 
and we can take a look at how words are zoomed in. This is in the 100 degree, 100 times zoom. You can see is, and uh, it's just really sharp. It's pretty amazing. I can, it's not showing up on camera, but it's not just showing the words. I can actually see the print of all the of the tiny, of the tiny um, matrices and the tiny dots that make up these words. I can actually see dot 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 dot. dot. It's just very interesting. I can see the paper and um, the fibers that are going into this. The camera is not doing its justice, of course. It's not a great camera. But um, as you can see, it's very bright. It's great for kids. It's great for adults. It's just a very entertaining device in general. It's well-built. It's well-made. And it, it actually makes microscoping fun again. Uh, if some people, you know, in laboratories and during school, it's not that fun. It's not that great of an experience. You can actually play around, goof around with this, and regain your interest in biology, chemistry, and sciences. Thank you for watching this video review at osvtxreviews.com.